Hello guys. In this video I'm going to show you how to list your business with Google Places. For those of you who don't know what Google Places is, uh, it's a way for you to list your business on Google uh, on the first page. Get your business on the first page of Google rather. Uh, when someone uses a location specific keyword like, like the name of your town, the name of your city. If you go to Google and type in a phrase such as dog walker in Richmond, Virginia, uh, if you look down the the listings, the ones here with the letters beside of it, that's Google Places. You have a couple of uh, actually three paid advertisements here, and then the first listing is a Google Places listing. Then you have two normal listings, and then you have three more from Google Places. It's a great way to get your business found when someone comes uh, looking for something specifically in your town. And if you're in a small town, then chances are just by listing your business, uh, you'll end up on the first page. If you're in a little larger place, say New York City, then you may have to work a little bit to get on the first page, uh, but you still should be listed. The first thing you do is go to www.google.com places and you click over here where it says get started under get your business found on Google the first thing you do is go ahead and sign into your Google account okay for the purposes of uh, this video I'm just gonna make up a phone number um, and kind of make a fake list and I can delete it afterwards but you enter your phone number of, of your business here just click find business information I think if you if you'd had your place listed before which if, if you did you probably wouldn't be watching this video but if you would I think it would pull up your information okay over here is where you enter your information. On the right hand side is just a preview of what your listing is going to look like. As you change the information, it'll change. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to enter a listing for my blog, the dog business blog. There's just no need of my blog being listed, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Put your city, uh, your street address, city, state, zip code. And you'll see as you put uh, as you put your address in, the map actually goes to the address that you have listed the little marker here does if that's incorrect you can actually click here fix incorrect marker location and you can change it uh, to where you want if if it does come up on an incorrect street or uh, address put your uh, email address in and your website Now the description uh, is somewhat important. You, you want to put in um, a description that describes uh, your business and, and what it does and um, it, it'll help when people search for whatever it is you do, whether it's dog walking, pet sitting, um, whatever it is you do. Um, I'm just going to put a vague description in here, but, but you, uh, you get the idea. You, you need to put like keyword specific um, uh, things like dog walker, Radford, Virginia, pet sitting, Radford, Virginia things like that you want to make it make sense on what you do but you want to see if you can't get those keywords in there in the categories field uh, it's really important 
that you use the categories that pop up say uh, you have a dog walking pet sitting business um, you can enter up to five categories and uh, if you can find five categories that actually describe your business I think you should enter all five but if you start typing in see how it comes up with uh, different things what you want to do is find your listing under the pre-selected ones that, that come up uh, that'll help you uh, for people to find you. So I'm gonna put dog walker. Actually, I think you click. Uh, yeah, you click on the side on the right side here to enter a second category. Uh, pet sitting should enter the first of it. It should come up. Pet sitter. I see they have a dog sitting. If you offer house sitting service, they should have house sitting here, I think. House sitting would be like uh, when you stay overnight uh, with the animal, uh, or for that matter, some, some people will hire you to sit with their house uh, when they don't have any beds. And, but uh, maybe dog walking. They don't have a dog walking, they just have a dog walker that we've already used. So, I can't think of a fifth one right off, but uh, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. Okay, and the next sec section is really, really cool actually for uh, dog walkers and pet sitters. You can specify whether you want your address to show up in your listing. Uh, if you're running a a dog walking or pet sitting business out of your home you probably don't want people having your uh, home address so if you're doing that if if you're running like a doggy daycare or a veterinarian um, business uh, something like that you probably would want to have your address in there but if you're not just click on yes uh, and don't show my business address on the map listing and then what you want to do is put in your zip code uh, for Radford it would be 24141 and the service area like how many miles it's going to basically go to the center of Radford and it's going to be a, a area of 20 miles uh, in either direction um, that you service if you service further you can change that to 30 miles or whatever you see how the map changes uh, it puts the marker right in the center of Radford and then a circle around the area that you actually service if I service like Blacksburg, Christiansburg, uh, Pulaski, Dublin uh, this the 30 mile uh, radius would uh, work out good you just click update preview then the next section is the errors of op operation uh, if you're a pet sitting dog walking business I would probably just leave that uh, I prefer not to specify operational air hours uh, if you are a daycare or veterinarian or kennel or dog grooming anything like that you may want to uh, actually click here and specify what days of the week you're open and, and what the hours are. Payment options, you just click uh, what you accept if it's just cash and check here or if you do accept uh, credit cards, click there. Now Google Places allows you uh, to add up to 10 photos and you should at least add one because it makes your listing look so much better like uh, maybe a picture of your logo uh, but you can add as many as you want uh, I would actually, especially if you were a daycare or something, I would put as many pictures as I could uh, on on the listing. I'm going to put a picture of my logo here. Okay, and click, just click add photo. You see the photo appears here, and it should actually uh, come up in a second in the listing. Oh, here it is, photos under here and here in this section you can actually add a video um, I've got a post that I show you how to make a little a small I think uh, 30 second promotional video for your website or your business it's really simple it's free uh, I'll put a link to that post um, 
or in, in this post actually so you can see it but after you upload that video that you made to uh, YouTube all you do is come to the page that your video is posted on YouTube you copy the URL and bring it back over here to add video you just put the YouTube U URL um, in the in the place provided here and just click add video most uh, Google Places listings won't have videos uh, so this is one way for you to kind of stand out uh, in the crowd and the last place is additional details you can put things like your parking or um, just just anything else that you would like people to know about your business then go to the bottom and just click submit okay the next screen it takes you to um, is how to get validated you have to actually uh, prove that you are who you say you are and um, it's actually just showing me that you can do that by a postcard that they'll send you it says it takes two to three weeks um, it'll send it to your address uh, that you have listed in your listing uh, and you can write your contact name here and just click finish I'm not going to click finish because uh, of course this is just a fake listing I don't want to list it uh, but there used to be a way of getting validated through your phone number that they would call you and validate it but maybe they've taken that out maybe somebody was taking advantage of it and they take, took it out um, but that used to be how you do it but after you get validated and it looks like it may take two to three weeks um, then your listing will start showing up on Google Places when someone searches uh, I hope this helped you out and if you have any questions or comments please please leave them in the comment section at the bottom thank you